What's up everybody, Carl here with a Windows 7 tutorial today. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a unturned dedicated server. Uh, just a quick note though, um, the, the, the PC that's running the server, uh, you will not be able to actually play uh, unturned on, unfortunately. Uh, Steam controls the server and Steam controls the client. So if the server is running, Steam will detect that and will not allow you to log in and play unturn. So keep that in mind while we're going through this. You're going to need to have Steam CMD installed. If you don't, I have a tutorial um, on how to go about installing it. It's real quick and simple. I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you go ahead and get that started. So let's go ahead and begin. What you want to do is you want to go into your Steam CMD uh, installation directory. Mine's going to be different than yours. Yours is probably going to be uh, C drive, program files, Steam CMD. Mine is actually on my other hard drive. So once you're in it, we're going to go ahead and launch Steam CMD. So I'm ch check for quick updates. First thing we're going to do is we're going to log in. Um, logging in anonymously is not going to work, so we will have to log into an account that has unturned on it. Even though it's free, it's still a requirement. Once you're logged in, let me go ahead and just get my password off the screen there. It makes editing a little easier for me. Excellent. Once we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and do uh, the force install directory. So force it's underscore install underscore dir. I'm just going to make it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and name it unturned. which is going to create a directory called unturned in the Steam CMD directory. Enter. You should see that now. Yep. Excellent. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to install the game. So app underscore update 304930. It's a small game. It will not take long to download. Excellent. Now it's finished, we can go ahead and exit by typing quit. Alright, <clears throat> now we want to open up the new directory that has the game files inside of it. And we want to create a text document and open it up. Alright, what we want to type in is we want to go ahead and type in unturned.exe space or sorry, space naked uh, minus no graphics space negative P E I space negative nor normal space negative no sync space negative P B E space negative players colon sixteen space negative S V now I'll go over what those arguments are in a second. Let's go ahead and save as. We're going to call it start.bat. File type all. Go ahead and close out of it. No longer need the new text document delete. And we can go ahead and run our start. Okay, once we start it, it's going to launch. The menu screen will go black as soon as it's finished rendering. And the server is now running. And like I said before, you can't actually play on the machine that actually has it running. So what, I, what uh, people do is they go find an older machine, they install Steam CMD, and they create a second account, a second Steam account. Uh, because Steam account's free, the game is free, they kind of just set it up and they just kind of leave it. Um, this can be done on Ubuntu server. It's, um, we'll cover that um, in a later video. Uh, the only other thing you need to consider is you need to port forward, uh, port uh, TCP 27015, the information is in the description. I'll leave a link to the wiki uh, and uh, a text walkthrough. Um, and uh, the only other thing that you can typically play with is if you look at the arguments here, the no graphics, the PEI, and normal, no sync, PVE, player 16, um, there's a bunch of different arguments that you can set. For example, you can set a password, you can change it. Uh, you can change the amount of players, uh, you can change the map, you can change it from normal to PV, you know, 
<laughs> to hardcore, to Bambi, you can change PV to PvP. There's all customizable. There will be a list of, of um, arguments and what they do um, in the wiki, which I will leave a link in the description. And uh, that's really all you need to know. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, show me or leave me a like. If you want to see more tutorials in the future, subscribe. If you got an idea for a tutorial I should cover, leave in the comment section. I'll try. I will. Uh, you know, I look at those and uh, I, uh, you know, try to tackle those as they come in. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it. Sorry for the short video, but hopefully it was helpful.